And we start this evening with a live look from our Alabama power camera. We're looking back over downtown Birmingham towards the Vulcan statue. And as most of you know, it has been a beautiful day so far across central Alabama. It's going to be a nice evening as well. Here's where your temperatures are right now. We're sitting in the 50s and 60s. So if you've got Saturday night plans, maybe you're about to head out to dinner here pretty soon. Looking really good. It feels great out there. Through the evening hours, we will cool effectively under a clear sky, which means by tomorrow morning, I'm forecasting lows to end up anywhere between the low 30s to the mid 30s. A couple locations could be close to 40, but for many of you, it's going to be a chilly start. And we could see the possibility of some patchy fog in some locations. So if you do have early Sunday morning plans, you're going to want to keep that in mind. Breaking down the rest of the evening, hour by hour, nice clear sky. Those temperatures drop off into the low 40s uh, just after midnight, and then we start the day in the 30s in many spots. Possibility we could have just a little bit of patchy frost in some of our northernmost communities as well early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, upper 60s, low 70s, full sunshine, just a, all around a beautiful spring day. So a great day to maybe to do some golfing or do some yard work, whatever you've got in your plans. Weather's not going to be a problem. Sunshine, we are in the upper 40s by 9 a.m. By 11 o'clock, we end up in the low 60s. By the afternoon, this is natural air conditioning, upper 60s, low 70s, a few spots, especially our southwestern most communities could touch the mid 70s. So all around a really pretty day. We're nice once again on Monday, and then we got to talk about our next weather maker. This is Tuesday into Wednesday, and we do look to have a severe threat for central Alabama. This is a 30% risk here in this orange color. So that is where uh, we are pretty confident that we are going to see either a slight or enhanced risk. And then this is a 15% risk for the rest of central Alabama. This is one of those typical springtime setups. That means we are looking at conditions that are possible to see all modes of severe weather. Wanted to time it out for you here in the future view. This is Monday morning. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch the system. We're going to track it uh, eastward across the southeast. This is Monday night. Severe weather likely for portions of Texas and to Arkansas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, moving towards Mississippi Monday night and into Tuesday morning, arriving here by Tuesday afternoon at the earliest. This is three o'clock and then sticking with us overnight Tuesday and into Wednesday mornings. So this is going to be one of those overnight events. Definitely a day we want you to keep your eye on the weather. And of course, we'll have more details as we get those high resolution models in the next couple of days. So weather impacts with this all modes of severe weather possible. That does include the possibility of tornadoes. So make sure you've got a way to get warnings. Make sure you're letting your friends and family know that we could have some bad weather in the coming days. Prepare now. Stay informed on the updates. Make sure you've got those ways to get warnings. Know your safe place. Go over your safe place with your family and have your tornado kit ready to go just in case it is necessary Tuesday night into Wednesday. So over the next 10 days, we're beautiful tomorrow. We're beautiful on Monday. Stormy Tuesday into Wednesday, severe weather looking likely at this point. And then we're quiet after that all the way into next weekend.